Hello and welcome back to another painting video. Today we're going to be painting Captain Rex from Star Wars Shatterpoint from the starter box. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by getting his armor done because that's the big bulk of everything. So let's do some medium sea gray by Vallejo. I mean we've already painted hordes of clone troopers on this channel so if you want to see those on for legion you can go ahead and go back to those videos um but this one is for shatter point so we're just gonna do like a heavy overbrush of the armor and all of the the whole thing, the whole model is going to get a heavy overbrush. This is the second model I would be painting for Shatterpoint. Uh, we've already painted Ventress from the starter set and I kind of got stuck in on my Necrons because uh, I'm really into 40k right now. but. Figure to give you guys a break too of not just seeing Necrons all the time. So I'm just gonna get this guy going. Get some shatter point done. Also in the mail today I got uh, the Obi-Wan Shatter Point pack and the um, Luminaria uh, pack as well. Uh, I got that one for the commandos because commandos are cool. We haven't had them in miniature form yet, so I'm excited to get those guys. Okay, so we're doing a heavy kind of dry brush here. Make sure we got them all good. Cool. So that's our dry brush of our gray. Now we're going to do the same thing with our white. That's matte white from Arnie Painter because that matches a uh, spray paint that they sell as well. So if you wanted to prime, you can just prime the guy white. But this step gives you a little bit more depth of your colors. Um, you do want a lot more of the white on your brush to do this, so we're just going to start going through here and then just kind of swiping it onto the model. Don't worry about the crevices and all that, like we want a little variation. You don't have to hit the the comma so much, his little skirt, skirty guy, because that is black. So you can avoid that if you want. But we do want his hands, his helmet, all of that. The top of his shoulder pads, his hand. Okay, and that is our white. Pretty much done. Let's get a little bit more on there just to help some of the areas, like the higher up areas here. The face. So now with our clone trooper painting, we're going to go into the black, which is like the undersuit. So we'll take our black paint for the undersuit parts because there are there are other black colors on this character. 
but we're going to be using probably a different black for that. So just get the big pieces here you want to get in between the legs. This is where like the big model comes in handy. So you don't have to be as worried as we normally are on hitting those areas that we don't want to. that area there you want to get between the knees here just trying to pick out those areas like in between the arms here we're just getting the undersuit with this. So, just get that. And then this part here. You only really have to worry about the parts you can see too. You don't have to go super into it. So. We can avoid the gloves for now. Just get those curves. And then we'll get his Little antenna guy. Actually, you don't know if it's black. I think it might be white, but I don't have a reference in front of me. Do you have the box? Let me look at the box really quick. <laughs> oh no, because all the box pictures has him with his helmet off. I think just the top piece might be black. So we'll just do that and we'll fix that white bit. have my legion scale version of him for reference of like colors and stuff so let's take some of that gray back just kind of put it on there and get some of our white if we had any left I don't think we do brush into it there. Hold on one second. And we're back and we're working on our black paint. So let's just get going here. So we got here. We got in between his knees. You want to get the little thing on the front of his mask here. And then we also want to get the little breather guys. Okay. And then the thing about Rex is that he's got lots of kill counts on his helmet as well. He's got lots of little hash marks. So we'll do a couple of them on here just because we can't get obviously to like that scale. It'd be very difficult. This one. 
nice bit of black on our brush that's wet so it flows better. And then we just just do some like tallies in there. Same thing on this side as well. There we go. So that'll cover that for us. And then I think we've got the rest of the black all taken care of. So well, like the, the dark black that we're doing. Okay, so now we can move to our, what does he have? He does, my bad. Okay, we're not done with the black yet. We have to get this last little bit. He's got these little cords right here that go to the hip boxes. Wait, no, that looks like his comma. He doesn't, Okay. Oh yeah, because it's like animated style. I think they don't have like there's wires that go to that stuff. So we're good. Okay. So now let's go to our other black. Maybe. Yeah. Let's get our other black. So that's gonna be a contrast paint that we're gonna do for this, and that's Black Templar uh, contrast paint. And we're doing this because it's going to help kind of bring some other details through, like of our pre undercoat here. So like on these boxes here, we'll have some variations in the, in the black that's on it. Get this whole neck piece here. Just getting that whole thing. And here we're just avoiding the raised edges because that's going to be blue. We don't have to completely ignore it, but yeah, just do our best there. Okay, and then we'll get. Same thing here, the comma, looks like we probably need to get the, the holster a little bit better too, but we'll see. So just get that with the black there, and the, the outside is going to be, the little rim of it is going to be blue. so. You don't have to go all the way to the edge, but you can if you want to make sure it's done. Just follow those, those lines and the folds of it to get it so that you covered it correctly. Gee, and then for this little spot here, we're going to do the little brush just because I don't want to hit the white. So that's that black. Now we can go on to the the blue. Oh wait, no, we're not done with the blacks. I messed up. We need to go onto the hands and the guns. So that's why we didn't worry about the hands with the black paint because we can get it all here. Just get the blaster. The fingers. 
just avoid that top of the hand there. Same thing on this side. We'll get our brush and fix that in a second. Okay, and then we just clean our brush off. And there's that little spot that we hit right here that we can kind of finesse away with that. Okay, so now the black is done. And we can go to blue. For the blue of the 501st, I like to go with, is that blue on there? It is, okay. I like to go with ultramarine. Um, it's a nice blue, it goes on well, uh, and then it kind of matches. Like to me at least it looks like it matches, so we're just gonna put some of that on our palette here. Blue paint is a thinner paint, so it does kind of suck to work with, but we're gonna work through it. So just get it nice and on your brush and then we'll start here with the knee pads he's got both stripes on his knees painted so we'll get those done as neat as we can Okay. His chest is clear, but he does have um, stripes down his arms and then the comma too, but we have to let that black dry a little bit more before we get into the, the comma. So let's get the shoulder pad here. So it's good that these, these details are already raised for you. It's going to help you get them painted better. Um, there's, there are also the details on his helmet that are also, they're sunk in, but that sh can help um, if you have a steady hand and a small brush, which I have a small brush, but I don't have a steady hand, so we'll see how that goes when we get there. So we're just going to get these painted on the shoulder here. So that's that. Then he's got a stripe on his shoulder pad. So we just gotta find like a place to start from and then just carry it in. Same thing here on the elbow. We're gonna take the little end piece there Fill that in. And we're going to get the arm as well, which is also a straight line, but we're going to, it kind of follows there, but we're not going to be able to see it if we do it like that. But there is a line on his hand, so we'll do that. I'm gonna look at the reference again really quick. Of course you can't see it on the reference picture because of the pose he's in. So we're just gonna make a decision and kind of go kind of in between the two and just kind of follow this panel line right here. Right there just to give him it on there. And there's also one that continues on the shoulder bit, or the little wrist cuff right there. So now we'll do the other arm as well. It's the same kind of deal, but we've got a mold line. So 
we're going to use that as our center point. For that, so that'll help hide that for us a little better. Then we'll put mine right here on the arm because these pieces are all moving so shoulder and then this one actually goes across his little arm pad like that So we got him there. Now for his helmet, we do have a middle stripe here. There's also like a weld mark too, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get that, but we'll see. Follow this line here, the top. We're gonna have to get the visor last, probably, just to make sure everything gets in there. Okay, and then we go down. down here like that it's a little too much paint on that side we'll have to clean up and then just the symbols on the head we're gonna kind of lightly Go into those like that. And then we get the edge work on the little comma here. If you need help painting these two, like you can always go to the 501st website and look up their costume guides because they have pretty in-depth guides on like how to make these costumes in real life so if you're trying to get them as close to that as possible you can always go there but I am filming right now and so I don't have the luxury of a reference picture right in front of my face right now Ooh, I didn't paint any of that so we'll have to go here and fix all that in a second we can just kind of slop that there since we have to do a black cover-up anyway now we can get here we're just trying to follow the lines that are already on there for us so you're not I'm going to create this mark out of thin air, like on a lot of models. You just get to kind of color, color it in. And just like always, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now let's go back to the black contrast paint. And then we're going to get this 
whole thing down there so that that's covered in. Make sure we got that too. And then for the errors that we made on the mask and stuff like that, we're going to have to go in here with a gray, our medium sea gray again. And we're going to clean up that mess. So first of all, there's one here on his booty that we're going to clean up. So we're just going to brush that in. And then here, I'm going to kind of turn the head a little bit and just Lightly follow that line there just to thin that out and straighten it out a bit more. So let's do the same thing here, like that. And then we'll get our white paint and just kind of do some highlights, I guess. If that's what you want to call them. So. Get it on our brush here, and then we can get our holster. We can get these panels here. Just give it some some character, you know. It doesn't have to be crazy. Get like the top of the box there. Get some of those. Get like the top of the crotch here. And we're just kind of making some more of these areas pop. Give it a little bit of style. And you can do that with this game. I mean, these, these models are big. You have big sweeping surfaces to be able to mess with. So give it, just give it a little extra attention. You're only working on these little, these guys so you can Make them each kind of stand out a bit. And I know this one's probably doesn't go in there, but I'm just that would be covered in shadow, right? So just want to kind of play with the light a little bit more, bring some more texture to this guy. Something under here. You can do this with like thinner paints too, like if you really want to, if you really want it to kind of blend more into the as well. We're just slowly working through here. Getting a little extra 
bits and bobs. Just give it some extra shines, some extra shinies where he would have it. Just kind of brightening him up here. Top of that, and get some of that. <gasps> Kitty, and we'll get the holster here. And even probably, hey, Bubba. Well. And that is Captain Rex for Star Wars Shatterpoint. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.